Hi, my name is Peter Kahn. I'm a grad student at OHSU, and I'm out here on the Wacoma doing uh, primary productivity measurements, basically measuring uh, carbon uptake by photosynthetic organisms. And to do a uh, primary productivity, it starts with uh, doing two depths at a CTD cast, uh, surface level, and then also at a 10% PAR level, which PAR is a photosynthetic active radiation, basically a measurement of light. So you have two different, uh, two different light levels that you're taking the sample at. And uh, once you get those samples, you do two additions. First, a sodium bicarbonate solution addition to measure the amount of uh, carbon that's being taken up. And then also a nitrogen addition, either an ammonium addition or, uh, or nitrate addition. So for the sodium bicarbonate, you add four mils to your sample. And for the ammonium, you add 50 mils. And for the nitrate, it really depends on the, uh, the amount of nitrate in the water. But it's usually about 10% of the nitrate that is in the water. And so once you have done those additions, then you put this put your sample into this uh, screen bag here, which uh, this, this measures about 50% or blocks out about 50% of the surface light, so it simulates light at the surface. Now that we also have uh, ba thicker bags that block out about 10% or 90%, so it's about 10% of the surface light. And so once you have your sample in the bag, you take it out onto deck where there's an incubator out there. So I'll head out there now. So this is the incubator. Um, it, it just has a hose running f uh, water from the surface into this to keep it at the temperature of the uh, ocean water. And pretty simple, you just set it in here. Make sure it's pressed down so it doesn't fly off. And uh, you just let this sit overnight. All right, so after overnight incubation, uh, we bring the sample inside, and we will run it through the filter here and just pour into the funnel here and uh, turn the pump on and let this, uh, let this go through and see the water drains. Now this is a, uh, this is a sample that's already been filtered, so we just place the filter into a cryo vial here. And then we uh, just store this in the freezer and uh, take it back to the lab to do all the analysis.